so this video is going to be the My Favorite Fall Things tag and I'm really excited to film it. It's actually a collab with Ilana. Um, we did a collab a few months ago, it was a back to school tag and, now, and if you aren't subscribed to Alana, you really have to subscribe to her, she's gorgeous, she's funny. I hope one day we'll be able to film a video together, um, but right now we kind of live on opposite sides of the country because she also lives in Canada, but we don't live in the same province basically. Um, and so yeah, definitely go subscribe to her. Okay, so the first category is favorite, favorite face product. Mine are face mists. I have dry skin as I told you and in the winter it gets even worse but I always need when I finish off my makeup I definitely need a setting spray or just something to kind of give me a little bit of a glow not a glow but some dewiness to my skin um, so I've been loving the MAC Fix Plus for a very long time. I talked to you about this before. It has vitamin E, I believe, and it's just very soothing on the skin. It's more, It kind of feels moisturizing and it kind of um, just remove the powder finish because I do love powder. I love my ambient lighting powders from my glass, but they are still a powder. So they give me a pretty glow, but it's still a powder. So I just love to finish it off with either Max Fix Plus or recently I discovered the Magnifix from Les Wessier and I love it. Um, they kind of do the same thing, but not so much. I feel like this one gives you more of a dewy look. This one will kind of set your makeup and make it last longer I feel like um, but both of these when you put them on it's like your blush kind of pops out your highlight pops out everything just looks HD I feel like I don't know I really like these face mists um, this is paraben free and alcohol free so I really like these what's these products because I feel like a lot of them are paraben free and this is alcohol free it's perfect because I have dry skin so and yeah these are both really soothing this one has white tea um, for those of you who don't live in Canada, you can purchase these wet tea from their website, which is cool. So, this is my favorite face product. Then, moving on to the cheeks. I have been loving two blushes, so these two. I talked about Sin a lot. Um, I showed it in my latest, latest makeup tutorial. So, this is Sin. I really like it. It's from NARS. I've been wearing it a lot. Um, I did get some new blushes from um, the VIB sale recently, which I filmed the haul. It's going to be up sometimes. This Next blush is actually a cream blush from Elizabeth Arden. I talked to you about these blushes a lot. I have the one in pink, um, but this is the plum one. I think I featured it in a video. I'm not sure. I featured it in many videos. I don't know if I showed it in the tutorial. I think I did. If I did, I'll link it down below. So this is plum and this is sin. Um, the Elizabeth Arden blushes are the best cream blushes I own. They're they're really good. You should definitely try them. They're not too expensive as well and they have four shades I think um, and they're all really pretty. I only have two but I really recommend these. Okay, next category is the lip products. Um, I love lip products as we all know. Um, so these are the kind of four that I've been really liking. So the first one, which you're probably not surprised, is Brave. I talked so much about this, I feel like, so I'm going to go quickly. But Brave is basically a very pretty brownish nude. Um, I really like it. Again, I showed it in my latest makeup tutorial. So it is right here. It's a satin. It feels very nice on the lips. I'm sorry. It feels very nice on the lips. And it lasts a long time. Then I've been wearing Whirl a lot. Whirl is, again, from MAC. It's a lip liner. I've been filling in my lips with this and actually wearing this with it, which is Trip Poker from MAC. A lot of you asked me a dupe kind of for Trip Poker. Not a lot. I think one or two people. <laughs> but um, I think Myth would be a similar color, but I don't own it, so I can't tell you for sure. But it's basically a super pale nude. Um, this is Whirl. So I line my whole lips with this and then I kind of dab this in the center and it creates a very beautiful... Pout. I don't really like that word, but it makes a very beautiful pout. <laughs> Next, um, the color that I have on my lips right now is Rebel. So it looks like this. On me, it doesn't look the same as other people. I don't know. On me, it doesn't look dark. I mean, maybe now, but I have to put like two coats for it to be dark. I don't know why. Okay, now I have Stella from Izuati. This is, I always forget the name. It's a rouge fondant. So basically, this is part of the Aurora collection from Les Wetsies, which um, if you haven't seen the video I did on their YouTube channel, definitely go check it out. 
it would make me really happy um so this is the color i wore this in a video i uploaded last week i also wore it in my question and answer video which i will film the answers pretty soon but so many of you asked me what i was wearing on my lips and this is it i actually had it on with a lip liner in fuchsia again from Lisuatier. um this is a permanent product from Lisuatier. The lipstick, I'm not totally sure. I know it's part of the collection, but I don't know if they will make it permanent or if it is. It's a beautiful color. It's going to be the perfect color, especially for the holidays, but I've been really liking to wear it with a more simple makeup look. I think it looks very good. So, yeah, I love this. And I love the formula. Usually, I like a very intense, kind of dry <laughs> kind of uh, lipstick. I love satin for MAC. I love matte. But this, for some reason, even though it's a very moisturizing, kind of silky lip product, I still really like it. So, yeah, because it does provide a lot of color. Okay, next for my eye products, I have been loving eyeliners. Um, I'm definitely going to be... I believe I did a video on it. I'm going to be doing a video on how I kind of do that feline flick. Um, I kind of did it today. I did a tutorial on this look. But I've been really liking to really emphasize my inner corners with eyeliner. So the three that I've been liking is this one first. This is a black from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Bedroom Black. I really like this one. It's a bedroom, no, it's a rock and coal. So a coal, I'll show you the swatches after. And then for daytime, I've been liking Stubborn Brown from MAC. And then for fun looks, I've been loving this one from Lise Watier. Again, from the holiday collection. This is a smoky coal velour, which velour means um, velvet. This is the most pigmented and the, the creamiest one of all. Um, even though this one is cheaper than the Charlotte Tilbury one, I like it even better. Um, the one from MAC is not actually an eye coal, but it still is very creamy. But these, this, okay, so this is the blue one, the black, and the brown. Um, my favorite is definitely, I have to say, it's the Lise Watier one. If you have the chance to try it, I don't think they have other colors. I really wish they would. This is the best eyeliner I have. I just wish I had it in black. Um, but I still really like the uh, Charlotte Tilbury one. But anyways, these have been, um, I've been really liking them. And the blue, sometimes I just wear on my waterline as well. Anyways, I've been loving eyeliner recently. Then for my eye palettes, I have been liking two. So the first one is from MAC. I've been really liking MAC and Izuati recently, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, so I created my first MAC palette. Um, so yeah, I bought all the colors online, but I looked at swatches and stuff. I love this palette. It's, it's just one of my favorite. These colors just scream me because obviously I customize it myself. But the first one is Shroom. I love it. It's a perfect highlight brow bone color. I don't think I have it on no I don't have it on today and then I have sketch which is again a beautiful color it's it's a purple I love purples and then I have smut which is a very nice gray <laughs> but it's a gray that has some dimension it kind of has some brown in it and then this one is my favorite this is handwritten is it's the most pigmented matte I own it is crazy it's kind of um it kind of has some br some red in it, and I feel like it looks great with my hair. I love this color. It's one of my favorites. Honestly, it's one of my favorite shadows I own. Not kidding. I never thought I would like these colors. Usually, I really like taupes, but this is beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. So, yeah, handwritten for MAC. I don't hear a lot of people talk about it, actually. Actually, nobody, but I love it. I really recommend it. I used it again in my latest tutorial. Okay, then next, obviously, is the palette from Lisuatier from the Holiday Collection. I'm not, like, sponsored by Lisuatier. I just really love their, product, their products. And I did receive the whole Holiday Collection before, like, in September, because I did the video um, promoting and showing... I did the Get the Look video um, that they uploaded on their channel. So I've been playing with these products a long time, so that's why they kind of really made it into my favorites, because... I've had them for a little while now. But this this eyeshadow palette is one of the best that I own. I know I just said that I love handwritten. Handwritten is the best matte I've ever owned in my life. And then these shadows are the most pigmented, shimmery 
shadows I own. I'm not kidding. Here's the blue. Here's the purple. They're crazy pigmented and they blend so easily. You'll probably see if you have watched the video that I did, you can see how just easily they blend these shadows. It's amazing. And even though you have a lot of colors, you can definitely do some daytime looks, nighttime looks. I love to wear the purple on my lower lashes with, with a very simple... I usually do handwritten in the crease and then smut, not smut, shroom on my kind of lid outer corner, outer corner, brow bone highlight, and then this on my lower lashes. It looks amazing. I love the blue as well. And then um, today I actually used the brown and I really like the pink. The only color I don't wear a lot is the gold one because I just don't really like gold on me, but it's still a very pretty color. So. I really recommend this palette. It's not too expensive. I believe in Canada it's $43, which is not that expensive considering you get six amazing pigmented shadows. So definitely check this out. It's it's amazing. So yeah, definitely go swatch it. Um, if you don't live, as I said, if you don't live in Canada, you can order it online. But then if you live in Canada, you can pretty much buy these with everywhere where they sell makeup. So. Okay, now moving on. Um, hair products. So as you, I don't know if you can actually tell, uh, but I did dye my hair, so that has been kind of my favorite thing going on. Um, I did kind of a darker color. Yeah, it's a it's it's a chocolate brown color, but I feel like there's a little bit of red in it. Um, I really like it. I feel like it complements my face a lot better. I just look more alive. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, I did get a lot of compliments, like when I have my natural hair color on my hair color. My hair color again <laughs> um, didn't look that nice. It was nice on camera for some reason. But in real life, it was just kind of that ashy, kind of brown color. It wasn't that pretty. So I'm really happy I did dye it. It's a major change, and I can really tell the difference, and I really like it. Um, I will link the color that I did down below. I didn't do a box dye because I didn't want to damage my hair, but I, I didn't want to go to the salon and pay like $150. So I did buy some professional hair dye that a hairdresser would use I just did it myself actually my dad dyed my hair <laughs> he helped me he basically did the whole thing but um yeah I'm really happy with the results I'm definitely gonna do it again because I can already see my gray hair coming back um yeah I'm really happy about it so I haven't that has been kind of my favorite thing I still haven't got a new shampoo for kind of color treated hair definitely let me know what's your favorite but Something I've been really liking is this. It's from the body shop. It's called a Miracle Solid Oil. It's for face and body, no, <laughs> for body and hair. So I've been putting this in my hair. So it's basically, it looks funny. Um, but it's basically kind of a, a solid oil. When you touch it, it kind of starts melting. There's a hair, there's cat hairs everywhere um, because I have two cats. Anyways, you can moisturize your body with this, but you can also put it in your hair. And I think this is so helpful because when I go to my boyfriend ha boyfriend's house I don't want to bring my whole bottle of argan oil but I really like argan oil in my hair so this is perfect you just put it in your bag it's it won't spill everywhere because it's solid so I really like this it's very convenient if you're looking for something on the go I really recommend this next for my fragrance fragrance <laughs> it's the Dolce & Gabbana for women I love this perfume it smells like raspberries and marshmallows it smells amazing. I got this very recently, uh, a few weeks ago, but I love it. I've already used a little bit of it. Um, Dolce Gabbana makes really great fragrances. I have the one as well, and I really love it. But uh, this is kind of my signature scent. I really, really like it. Definitely go smell it if you like raspberries and very warm and kind of sultry scents. I really like this. What does sultry mean? I don't even know, but I use it frequently. <laughs> um, actually, because... Since I kind of learned English with kind of movies and TV and YouTube videos, I use words that I don't even know what they mean in French. So it's kind of funny. And then I don't think they asked this, but I'm going to tell you what's my favorite body butter. So, well, body cream. Um, it's by the body shop again. It's from the, the same. It's the Argan, Wild Argan Oil um, line. It smells amazing. This does smell the same thing as the oil for your hair and body. This smells amazing. I use quite a lot of it. Um, the first time I used it, I used way too much. I was ticky the whole day. Um, you only need the tiniest bit. It moisturizes your body so well. It mixes well with any of my perfumes, which I really like. And it just smells so good. I think this is a scent that everybody will love. 
it's just a very universal scent. It smells very good. It's kind of warm, perfect with that time of year. I really love it, and it moisturizes my body very well. Next, I have nail polishes. So the two that I love, love, love on kind of every year, I paint my nails. I like when they're a darker color, but honestly, I don't like my hands. They get red all the time, and I'm so white, and when my hands get red because I'm cold or something, my, my hands just look ugly, so I don't really want to show them. But when I have like a dark polish, I feel like they look prettier. So the one that I have on right now is Bahama Mama. It's definitely my favorite. This looks like Rebel. And this one, which is Wicked, this looks like Diva for MAC. So these are definitely my two favorites. I love both of them. Um, I think my favorite is Bahama Mama, but I love Wicked as well. So these, my Essie, my two faves. Faves. <laughs> okay. Now, moving on to fashion. I don't have that many things, but the first item, which is a trendy item. I'm not really trendy. Um, I think I stopped being trendy in 2012. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trendy anymore. Um, so, yeah, but the first... I don't want to ruin my shirt with my swatches, but a shirt that I wore a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, is just a, a gray shirt. And <laughs> um, I got it from the bookstore. Actually, I would like to show you a pair of pants that I got from Zara, which are amazing, and I got them in three colors, obviously, but they're all in the wash. So I'm going to do... Let me know if you would like to see a Zara haul. I could definitely do that for you. It's supposed to be one of those shirts that dip really low in the back, but I kind of pinned it because it was too low, and I actually wear the v-neck in the front. So this has been a shirt that I've been wearing a lot. I just really like gray. Um, I've been really liking it recently. It's just very plain. You know, it's just like this. I showed it in a haul a few, two months ago, I would say. Um, I really like it. I've been wearing it a lot. Um, it's not the most flattering, kind of at the waist. I feel like it, it, it kind of looks weird sometimes, but I love this. Um, it's a very simple shirt, but I feel like with the v-neck, it kind of adds a little something. I don't know. I really like it, and I've been wearing it a lot. And then for the comfo, comfo, for the comfy clothing item, Again, it's gray. Um, this is from Express. I wore this today, and I'm not like I'm not kidding. I wear this pretty much every single day. It is insane. I need to wash it actually. Um, it's basically a cardigan from Express. When I got it, I thought I wasn't gonna like it, and I'm in love with it. Turned out, um, it's just a cardigan. I didn't wear this for the video because my last video I was wearing this, and it's just insane. I wear it so much. I love it though. It's kind of a flattering cardigan because it's kind of kind of form-fitting, but not too much, you know. But it's still so comfortable. I just love to wear this. And as I said, it's from Express. They don't have it anymore. I wanted to buy another one in black, but I can't find it on the website. And I got it online. So, I don't know. I love this. It's my favorite thing ever. It smells like Nirvana Black because I got a sample of it. I thought I loved Nirvana Black from Elizabeth and James, but... I wore it the other day because I got a sample. It smells very manly, almost too manly. I love warm and sweet kind of vanilla-y scents, but this is just a little too manly. So, anyways, I love it, but it's a little too manly. <laughs> okay, next is shoes. I'm not a big shoe person, but I do like these. I can't wear them anymore because it, there's a lot of snow. They're kind of suede. They had a gold zipper. Um, so, yeah, basic basic boots but I really like them they look nice with tights as well they look nice with pretty much everything but now I cannot wear them anymore so yeah there's that <laughs> okay next I have accessories she got a few years ago like 2011 and 12 um, it's this kind of blanket scarf from February 21 if you used to follow me back in the day you probably saw this in one of my hauls I'm gonna try to look for it I don't know, we'll see. Um, yeah, I wore this scarf so much and then I have it again this year. I love it. I think, again, it looks nice with my hair because it kind of has some red in it. So, yeah, I love this scarf. Forever 21, you probably can't find it. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this video. Let me know what are your favorites this fall. Go subscribe to Atlanta's channel. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.